Hey everybody, Reinstein here. This is a brief intro to episode 2 of my season 2 RimWorld Ice Sheet playthrough, which is modded. Um, in the first episode, we achieved a lot of things, but the file got corrupted, so I'm unable to show it to you. So I'm just going to show you some, some of this uh, map. And um, we achieved a lot of things. Things are going really well, so I'm just going to switch to episode 2. I, I understand your frustrations at missing episode 1, and I can only apologize. But please carry on and watch episode 2, and you'll see that we're doing a lot better than episode... than season 1, sorry. So thank you, and switch to the intro to episode 2. Yeah, in the first episode, we started off quite well. If you remember last season, we did really badly. It only lasted five episodes. But last episode, we've done well. We've established a research table, comms network. We've got some storage areas. Um, we've got a little greenhouse, some power. Only one turret, but another one soon to be built. And we've got a mining operation going on up here. But immediately, we need to deal with a raid. We've got a group of pirates from the dogmen who have dropped... In right on top of me now they look like they're there so I mean I'm not gonna be able to call anyone back we've got Chloe and Ashen Crow out there doing jobs so I think what I'm gonna do is just get Elfwyn to perhaps hide behind this wall and let the turret deal with this one um, I think that's all I can do unless that guy decides to go up there well I'm pretty sure he won't uh, let's see how this plays out now. El Elfwyn, I'm going to want to move him away from being stabbed. That's not a good way to start the game, is it, Elfwyn? So, we should be able to deal with this. It's really early in the playthrough, so we're not going to be attacked by any great numbers of people. And we've got rid of the pesky Norbles, <coughs> excuse me, who were in the last playthrough. There we go. Now, we've actually knocked this person out. It's a female. Now, are they worth rescuing? They're pretty good at shooting. They're heat tolerant and pessimist, so permanent mood effect minus six. So I'm going to say no, probably not worth rescuing. Um, so I'm actually just going to set a false target and kill her. <clears throat> Sorry, Kimmy. All right, so I think, I don't know if this uh, combat supplier is still here. They are. Now we have a little bit of money. We've got 760 silver, but I think it might be a good idea to buy some. Not all, but some medicine. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got a sniper rifle. We can't afford that. So yeah, I'm just going to buy some medicine. Put that in our little stockpile of 18 that we got there. And that will be nice. Alright. Uh, so food production is okay. Now I did get a good comment. Um, saying buy, buy some hens. Not the, the, what are they called? The roosters. But just the hens. Because if I get roosters as well, then they're going to breed. And that's going to take up too much of my food but if I get some hens then they're gonna um, basically lay eggs and provide like a, f a food source so I thought that was a really good idea thanks for the tip everyone um, all right let's go in and set another mining operation here it looks like there's a bunch of stuff there oh we got some visitors now Oz has been saying that I can contact these and try and improve relations which I didn't realize you could do it uh, I must admit so let's have a look there from Councilman of Kindness's Forest. So if I have a look at my factions, our relation's already 31, but let's try and see if we can improve. So we can faction goodwill 31. Try to recruit. Try to improve faction relationship. Now recruiting would probably be a good idea. But I'm not gonna do that. So we've got another female there. This one looks quite good. Yoko. I'm actually going to try and recruit Yoko, I think. Try to improve relationship. Try to recruit. Um, I kn that will upset them a little bit. Um, I know that for a fact, but I don't think that's too big of a problem. Now, who's the best at negotiating? Um, 2 out of 20, 2 out of 20. Wow, no one's really any good whatsoever. So I'm going to get Elfwyn to do it, I think. Elfwyn, if you go and talk to them and try to recruit that good person, because Yoko's so well spec. Look, she's pretty good at research, already better than anyone we've got. We've got Beatrice researching stone cutting at the moment, and as you can see, she's only three on research, so this one's pas got a passion for it and is four, so that's good. And she's really good at shooting and melee, has a chemical interest, is a cold lover, which will benefit her because it's absolutely freezing here. We just got some meat. Some chicken meat has just arrived. Sweet. 
Ooh, just looking now, we need somewhere to put our nutrient paste dispenser. Uh, hmm, we're going to need to mine an area for that. So, where would be a good idea? I thought, once I loaded back into the map, I thought it might have been better if I'd have started over this way and mined into there, but I've started here, so I'm not really going to move my base much. Um, but a good idea might be to start mining over this way. We'll get a nice big chunk. We'll put our nutrient paste dispenser in there. Now I'm going to cancel the rest of the mining orders for now. Just so they focus on that one. I think that's all that I've set. It looks like it from what I can see. Brilliant. Now we've only got six meals left, which is not good. Let's see how... Ah, yes. So Beatrice I've set to clean because she was complaining that basically the base is filthy. Look, if we have a look. She's put ugly environment... Oh, she's a night owl in the daytime as well. That's not good. Let's go in and change that. So we need to go to restrictions. So everyone's working from 6 to 21. So how many hours is that? That's like 6, 12, 16 hours. Right, so Beatrice needs to be sleeping 7 hours during the daytime. So I'll make her maybe sleep from 8 to 14. Does that work? Yeah, and then the rest of the time she can do anything. That's so she'll be working night the night shift. That's all right. All right, I'm just trying to slow down a little bit, make sure I get everything sorted properly. Elfwin charmed Yoko with her smooth attempt at recruitment, 82% chance, but failed to recruit Yoko. Ah, uh -huh. go Elfwin, Sm go you smooth talker, and Yoko has joined us. Excellent. But, yeah, the chief has angered, so even Evan Raw Raw of Kindness's Forest is upset with you for recruiting Yoko. Sorry. Um, might not have been a good idea, but I wanted to recruit another person, so let's check on our factions now. Minus 15, so we're going to need to improve our relations significantly. Um, so hopefully Elfin can do that. Now, Yoko, she was good at researching, so we will set her to be the researcher. Beatrice, I've got cleaning at the moment. And I'll let her continue with that a little bit. Got some food here. Hopefully they're not going to eat that. What I'm going to do, I think... Yeah, we need a place... We need, like, a fridge as well. And we need a cooking... Uh, we need, like, an oven. Uh, cooking stove. Yeah, where should we put that? We don't have enough stored. Okay, of steel. Right, poor mood. So food is really our big concern right now. Yeah, go Ash and Crow. Mine like you've never mined before. We'll put a little door there. Should we put a door there? Does it need one? Nah, not yet. Bit of a waste of time. All right, so now we've got two turrets. Uh, that one needs to be repaired. So Chloe, if I get you to come and repair that. And Yoko, you're already eating some of our food, you brute. Okay, our rice plant, 43% grown. Now, thankfully, I've created my comms console, so I can potentially call anyone, you know, or someone who, like a bulk, a bulk trader, and they can provide us with food, hopefully. Um, now what I'm going to do with Beatrice is, she looks like she's finished cleaning mostly, so I want her to go and haul, I think. We've got a little, we've got a little storage area here, I'm just going to expand that ever so slightly, because I'm not sure... How much stuff she's going to put in there. We do need somewhere to store our food still. Uh, just waiting for space so we can get that nutrient paste dispenser built, I suppose. Temporarily, I could build it in there, but then I'm just going to move it. So I don't see the point, really. Uh, we've got a dead body there. Kimmy, doctor. Mm. Well, we don't need to turn cannibal just yet. Ooh, a pirate trader's turned up. Yoko, will you call the pirate merchant? Okay, anything good here? Nothing that we can afford to waste our money on, so no. Alright, Yoko. Hopefully this stone cutting thing will be researched really quickly. And then, I think secondly, I'm probably going to research geothermal power. So we can make use of the little uh, steam geysers that are littered about, which I can't find right now. There's one. Yeah. So that's, that's our nearest one, I think. Unless I'm going blind, which I probably am. And there's another one there, and another one there, and another one up the top there. So three across the top. Brilliant. All right, that looks like there's enough room for our nutrient paste dispenser. So I'll whack that in there. 
put a couple of hops on there. Which way round are they supposed to go, these hops? I never know. I'm going to put them that way. Don't even need three, I don't think. We'll have two. Okay, so... Hurry up and produce our stone research so we can start, um, start that up. I really want to get this oven built. Cook stove. We can put it there. Where should I put it if I'm going to put it anywhere? I think I'll let Ash and Crow mine just a little bit more. And there we go. I'll probably put the nutrient, uh, the cook stove there, I would say. In the corner there. Yeah. Poor mood. Who's that? Uh oh, Beatrice is broken. Beatrice the Terminator has broken down. <laughs> Love that name. Oh, we need we need another bed actually. Just realized another sleeping spot. So let's whack that in there. They are all gonna get bedrooms. You know they all are, but it's gonna take a while. Um Our power's draining away ever so slowly. Come on, wind turbines, get to maximum output and save our plants. Make them grow. 51% so they're, f they're halfway there to being grown our rice plants. Damn that's taking long. Oh look some of our stuff has now been put in there. Sweet. Chicken meat. Okay keep going Ash and Crow. Yeah that's built. Brilliant. So that needs power. So we'll drag our little power conduit over this way. Eventually, I'm going to tidy all this up, I think. But uh, for now, our power cables are going to have to make the base look untidy. It's just one of those things. What is this she's mining? Marble. Lovely. All right. So where is Beatrice? Beatrice can go back to cleaning. And then her second job will be hauling. All right. Now, that new person, Yoko, has they got a weapon? They have. So we've got two steel shivs in our arsenal. So Chloe has a, a plasteel shiv. A plasteel knife. Elfwyn's got the pistol. Ash and Crow, new subscriber. Thanks for subscribing, dude. Has a survival rifle. Beatrice, nothing. Ah, because she got dazed, though, didn't she? I wonder where she dumped her weapon then. I must remember that every time they get broken, they dump their weapons places. Oh, no. Hunt for the missing weapon. Where are you going, Beatrice? Where are you going? Poor mood. Beatrice again. What is causing your poor mood? Urgently hungry. Aha. Uh -huh. And we got no food. Right. Please don't be the downfall of my colony again. Please. There's food right there. Yeah, look. You can get nutrient paste. Why are you not going to get food? Oh, you have. All right. Good, good, good. You're fine. I guess. Sort of. <laughs> All right. This stockpile. I don't want to store medicine in here. So let's take that off. I want medicine to be indoors, if anything. Because as you subscribers have let me know, you have told me that as long as medicine's in indoors, it's not going to degrade. It doesn't need to be heated, doesn't need to be kept cool, just needs to be covered by a roof. So that's good. Um, let's see, Elfwind's building the stove. Yeah, so once we've got this, we can then start to make meals. I might get Beatrice making the meals, actually. I'll have a look in a second. So cook simple meals, do until you have X. So I'll do it until we've got five. And let's look at young Beatrice. What's she like at cooking? Probably not very good. Ah, uh, four. That's not too bad. So, Beatrice, you go and do some cooking. And then cleaning can come later. Brilliant stuff. Having food will be a, a, a nice bonus. But now I'm looking at it, we need another room to store our food. So, probably if the oven is there... I should have really put the oven over here, perhaps. We can always move that. Um, so I'm thinking if we have the uh, cool refrigerator here, we've got room to expand it as well. So let's do that there. And that will be a door there. Yeah, it's going to suck if I have to deconstruct this stove, but ho-hum. Okay, what's going on now? Where is everyone? You can see I'm, I think I'm, you know, I think you'll agree when I say that I'm actually taking more time over what I'm doing. So hopefully we're going to have a better result. Um, just to remind you, we are playing on Cassandra Classic on rough. I, I'm unable to get any... Uh, to play on any higher difficulty than that. All right, research, finish, stone cutting, build, stone cutting tables, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, the next thing I wanted to research is geothermal power. Um, so we also need our stone cutting table. 
So let's go in and find that. Uh, steel. Yeah, it's going to have to be made out of steel for now. Once we've got that, everything's going to be awesome because we can make loads of blocks. Start to think about defending our base with walls and stuff like that. Now, Oz, you'll be pleased to hear um, that I'm actually going to use the features that are already here. I, I kind of did it already with my greenhouse and we've got kind of a wall, part of a wall here. Uh, we're running low on power. Okay, that's another thing I'm going to need to work on then. Should I build another wind turbine? Or should I build a solar generator? Hmm. I think a wind turbine. I, I, I kind of wish I hadn't built the wind turbines here as well. Th now, when I loaded back into the game, I thought it would have been better over here. But, meh. It is what it is. So, that being said, I'm actually going to put another solar power generator right there. Um, that's going to leave loads of these power conduits here. We can save a bit of steel, I think, by getting rid of those. Yeah, like so. Alright, how's our food doing? We're at 66% grown. We could take a risk and try and harvest some already, but it's not worth it. People have food. This is, you, you have to admit, it's a big surprise that I've actually managed to feed my colonists. <laughs> this early in the playthrough, because normally I'm just terrible. My last... Season 1 was abysmal. The reason people went mad, I think, is because of the lack of food. Um, ooh, a pirate merchant's turned up again. Yeah, Ash and Crow's starting to mine that. Good man. So, I'll get a door there. Right, now we're going to need stones produced. Because um, we've made our stone cutting table. So, who should we get to do that? So, let's just review what everyone's doing. So, Chloe is our constructor. Yeah, so I guess once she's run out of construction jobs, then I'll get her to craft, which will mean stone cutting, I think. Yeah. So she's going to build... She's going to build the solar generator, and then she's going to build the door there. And then we need... A, oh, yeah, we need a cooler in there. So let's do a bit more mining next to it. Oh, no, we got another raid. Where are they? I saw that fly past with the screen there. Let's have a look. A group of pirates from the skunks. Looks like there's only one. Ooh, there's another little place we can explore there as well later. Later on in the playthrough. Awesome! Okay, so... We've got two turrets defending. We've got Yoko, Beatrice, Elfwin. I th let's just see. I think there's only one person coming to attack me. No, there's three people. All right, my bad. Okay, Elfwin, get ready with your pistol. I'm going to stand you behind those blocks down there. Uh, Yoko, Chloe, it was Ash and Crow. Ash and Crow's got the survival rifle, so let's put you, let's put you behind these blocks as well. Actually, you've got longer range, so maybe I'll put you behind these blocks over here. And the rest of them, hopefully they're going to stay indoors. So let's see. Ooh, cargo pods have just come as well. Ooh, they're right there. Lettuce. Excellent. I'll have to remember that. That's an excellent food source we can use. After this fight is over. Alright, Beatrice, where are you going? You're hauling letters to the hopper. Not right now, love. Thanks for your keenness. But, oh no, my turrets are out of power. No. Oh, we might need everyone to get fighting. Alright, Beatrice, you wait out there with your... Oh no, you don't even have a steel shiv. Chloe. Hold on. Oh, Chloe really wants to build that. Come on, wind turbines, produce some power. Thankfully, they're not attacking right away. Oh, there's some more steel there as well. Set that to be hauled. Here they come. All right, Chloe. Here we go. Here we go. All right, they're encroaching on your position, Elfwin. Run. Chloe, run. Oh, thankfully, you got one. Now, I could send Chloe in with her steel shiv to knife this guy, but no, it's not, not a good idea. Run to the safety of the shelter, Chloe. Yeah, that's two down. And they're fleeing. Sweet. Now, have they got any clothes we want to make use of before they wear out? No, not that one. And what about this one? No, they're in bad condition. All right, good work, people. So, Beatrice, hopefully you're going to start hauling that... Um, hopefully you're going to start hauling that lettuce again. That was perfect. Brilliant job, everybody. I think you'll find... Now I'm playing the game slower, I am doing a whole lot better. 
but power is my issue. So hopefully Yoko will finish researching relatively soon. Now, Yoko, you are a female. I'm going to name you Lizzie. Yoko can be Lizzie, I think. You can be... Let's go here. Now, if I've got any other female um, female subscribers who want to take part in the playthrough and be a colonist out here on the rim with us, then do let me know. I'm more than willing to include you. I just don't know any other women who watch my videos. So, yeah. Come and join in the fun. Um, looking at this, I might add another hopper here. Although, we're going to be preparing plenty of meals. So, maybe not. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Haul all that. Stone cutting. So, who did I set to stone cutting? That was Chloe, wasn't it? Yeah. So, after she's finished construction stuff, then she's going to do stone cutting. We could do with another colonist. Also got some good advice from one of you saying that you need a way to generate money to buy supplies if things get too tough. Which is great advice. Um, so hopefully I can get producing some artwork or maybe I can produce enough stones to sell. I just don't know right now how that's going to take shape. But uh, so I guess as the playthrough continues it will reveal itself to me, I assume. I'm just going to put a little light there. Oh, lightning is striking. What are you doing, Beatrice? Walking around the rocks. All right, love. You carry on. Okay, so the cooler is being built. Brilliant. Oh, Beatrice was making some food then as well. Good job, my liege. So we seem to be managing. We seem to be managing. Can you believe it? Reinstein is actually doing something properly. Look, Beatrice is bringing in more lettuce. We, that was a stroke of luck, to be fair, that the lettuce came, but you need a little bit of luck. Trade ships come. So, Louise, you call one of these pirate merchants. See what they've got to offer. Nothing from that one that I really want. And nothing from there. All right, I think, then, I'm going to end the episode there. That's been a pretty good episode. We've avoided two raids, although nothing too drastic so far. We've got more power production underway. Geothermals have started to be researched, which will continue in the next playthrough and hopefully get a geothermal generator built. We can now produce stone, uh, make stone blocks. Oh, let's set that to do, until, do forever. And we're now cooking food as well with a nutrient paste dispenser. So things are going rather well. Thank you for watching. Please send in your comments, uh, share the video wherever you like, try and get some more viewers involved. And um, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.